monitors showed what was left of the inner circle. On screen, the so-called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he'd pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. What is your answer to those saying that he is actually providing a service long overdue to the city? This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the New York City Police Department. blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure the kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Nothing seems to stop Acer Corporation's phenomenal victory march. Incredibly, the stocks are still rocketing. Worried experts already see a danger in the company's success. Some have gone as far as to say that Acer Corporation is about to become an even bigger monopoly than Microsoft ever was.
Odin had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high-rise was sealed as tight as a sci-fi fortress.
this movie any ever? I dreamed of revenge. Those dreams were always nightmares, of coming close and then failing. Now I was close. I had a name to guide me, Nicole Horn. I had nothing to lose. The inner circle had quite a track record. Project Valhalla had not been the only thing the inner circle had been involved in. There were rows of cabinets full of files. The Serpentine Secret Society went back a long way, always pulling strings from the shadows. I couldn't say I was sorry. Woden's move in some Byzantine power game had cut the Circle's membership roster to one. The old man wanted me on cleanup duty. It was my mess too.
CIA, FBI, you've seen what fell. original approach to the problem. It wasn't as if it hadn't all been done before. An eye for an eye, the first principle of revenge, old as dirt, still going strong. The cardinal rule in going after someone with an intention to kill was not to make it personal, which it almost always ended up being anyway. It did with me. I took my time cruising around the city in the snow. There was no hurry. I knew what I had to do now. I took my time thinking about it building up the rage. When I was ready, I parked the stolen wheels at the front entrance of the Acer Corporation headquarters. Got out, got in, got cracking. I had a bullet with Nicole Horn's name on it. I had 10,000 bullets with the hag's name on them. She had ultra-high-tech security systems, enough mercenaries and weaponry to start World War III. There was no fear. New York disappeared behind a veil of snow. I had crossed the threshold. This was her domain, sleek and sexy and soulless, all glass and steel. A place of color-coded security key cards, metal detectors, and surveillance systems. Colder than a walk-in fridge. Cold as a gun. <laughs> 